What's up, family? Welcome back to Fickling TV. I'm Amber, and today we're going to be discussing my 28 week pregnancy update. So, this week, baby is about 2.2 pounds heavy and about 14.4 inches long, or the size of an eggplant. As far as symptoms go this week, this has been literally the week from hell. <laughs> If you've been watching my pregnancy vlogs up to this point, you'll know that I haven't really been having too many symptoms this pregnancy. I'm lucky to say that I haven't really had a terrible pregnancy. Half of the first half of my pregnancy, I didn't know I was pregnant. And then once we did find out that I was pregnant, I still didn't receive very bad symptoms. It was just normal pregnancy symptoms. But I will say that now that the third trimester has hit, I am receiving <laughs> a lot of flack on the back end of this pregnancy that I did not get in the beginning. I've been experiencing really, really bad pelvic pain. And during my 28 week appointment, I did tell my midwife about it because it was very, very painful for me. And I also took my glucose test during my 28 week appointment. So I'll be discussing the results from my test in next week's vlog, so make sure you stay tuned. So as far as symptoms this week go, I've been having overall tiredness, really achy, achiness around my pelvis, pain is there as well. Very irritable, and I've noticed this just self-doubt starting to creep in. I'm just really being really hard on myself, really critical, just not in the right headspace for pregnancy or birth or anything at all. So I have decided to make a conscious decision to begin my pregnancy affirmations now. I'll put a link to the ones that I like to listen to in the description box below and hopefully they can be useful to you as well. So back to this pelvic pain. I basically told my midwife that I was experiencing the pelvis pain. Now, I'm used to the normal pressure in my pelvis. That's normal. That's normal with pregnancy. But this time around, I've been experiencing some crucial, critical, like stabbing pain in the front of my pelvis. Before I could even finish explaining my symptoms to her, she began to rattle off some things that I may have baby experiencing. She says, are you feeling it a lot when you roll over? I said, yes. Uh, do you feel it as you go up the stairs? Yes. And I couldn't believe she knew what, how, what I was talking about. And so she said, you know, Amber, before you even finish, this sounds to me like SPD. And I'm like, SPD, I've never heard of that before. And for me, this is my fourth pregnancy. So I'm like, I figured that I know, I know everything that goes on with pregnancy. Nothing new that you can tell me that that's gonna happen to me. But surprisingly, this is, this is something new. So she basically explained that SPD is symphysis pubis dysfunction. What that is, is basically after you've had a pregnancy or a birth, your pelvis never really goes back to its state before. So the bones are naturally going to be a little wider than it would be in someone that's never had a baby before. With the two front pelvic bones sitting here, there's only a ligament between the two that connects them together. During pregnancy, your body releases a lot of hormones. One of those hormones happens to be relaxin. Relaxin helps to soften and relax most of the muscles in your body, which makes that ligament spread and stretch a lot more than it would if you weren't pregnant. Now, what SVD causes, I could be suffering from a misalignment of my pelvis, or the bones in my pelvis could be rubbing together as I'm walking, as I'm turning over, or as I'm going up the stairs. So that was something I wasn't prepared to hear, but of course I'm looking for a way to solve this problem or a solution. And she basically explains to me that there's nothing they can do. I can take Tylenol when it gets really, really bad, or she says I could get a maternity belt which would hold my belly up and hopefully relieve some of the pressure I'm feeling like by holding baby up, but there's basically nothing they can do about it. I was torn to pieces when I left the doctor's office hearing that news because I can't imagine going another 12 weeks with the type of pain that I've been having. It's so bad some days that I can barely walk. I mean, I'm hunched over and just in complete pain. 
So I decided to do a little bit of research on my own about SPD. And yes, she was right in saying that I could take Tylenol to alleviate it and get the maternity belt. But who wants to walk around with a belt strapped around them all day, every day, and it's a million degrees outside. <laughs> so one of the other solutions that I found was basically exercising and strengthening the pelvic muscles could alleviate some of the pain. I will say the past two days that I've been walking lately, whether that's walking around the mall, walking around the outlet, and yes, both of those are during shopping, <laughs> or walking around my neighborhood, I found that it hasn't been as bad, as painful as before, but some days I wake up and it's it's already there. So, I mean, I don't really, I don't really know how to approach this thing. If you suffer from SPD, I'd really like to hear some of your comments below on advice that you would have to alleviate some of the pain. I just can't rest well with knowing that birth is the only way that I can get some relief from this pain. Especially when I have three other children to care for and I'm up and moving most days running behind a two-year-old and a one-year-old and I don't have time to just sit down and just suffer like that. But like I said, I have been experiencing a lot of self-doubt lately and just not being in a really good headspace with this whole pregnancy and birth. And I know that is something that a lot of moms go through and, you know, a lot of people will brush it off as, well, you know, it's just pregnancy hormones or you'll get over it, don't worry about it, once the baby gets here it'll all be fine. But our mental health is very important and I do firmly believe that we can decide the outcome of our lives by what we think and what we put out into the universe. And by not having a grasp on what we are thinking about, what we are doing from a day to day, we can kind of get lost in the sauce and lose control and really things will attract to us that we don't necessarily want because we aren't putting out positive energy, we're putting out a lot of negative energy energy so that's basically where I've been at lately and I just I don't like it I want to put a halt on it so I have started listening to my pregnancy and birth affirmation um, I'm listening to them every single day just so I can begin to have those better thoughts in my mind when I was pregnant with my daughter I actually put post-it notes of pregnancy affirmations and birth affirmations all over my bathroom all in my room just so I could be surrounded with those positive thoughts so I can begin to change the trajectory of my pregnancy. As we're entering the end of this pregnancy, I know that it's getting very difficult for us to get around and this is the last stretch so everything is just, it's just so much to even think about doing anything. But we have to be vigilant in trying to steer our minds in the right direction. This video was a little different. I did want to just kind of open up to you guys and let you know what's been going on with me and hopefully you can grab some advice out of it i really try to make these videos be really helpful to moms new moms moms of subsequent children so that you can actually get some advice from this video and you can apply it to your own life so i'm hoping that you found something that you could take with you in this video so without further ado i'm going to jump right into my belly shot so Here's what my belly looks like from the front with clothes on from the side. Here's the back. Here's the other side. And I have a dress on, so I threw these shorts on for you guys so you wouldn't have to see my undies. <laughs> Here's what my belly looks like from the front with clothes off from the side. back and here is the other side so that is basically it for today thank you so much for joining me in this video if you are already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can join me on this journey and tap the bell next to that button so that you can be notified every time I post an update. In the next week's vlog, I'm going to be discussing my results of my glucose test, how it went, what I drank, what I did to prepare myself. So please make sure that you tune in to that video.